A new Arctic blast heading down from the north. Much of the country about to get extremely cold yet again, and it's going to last. The polar chill is sending temperatures below freezing in many cities, single digits this week ahead. The forecast in a moment here, but first, ABC's Clayton Sandell on the horrific driving conditions already being seen tonight. Call it Polar Vortex, the sequel. Bitter Arctic air gearing up to take another cold swing at the Midwest and Northeast. Dangerous sub-zero and freezing temperatures will stretch south all the way to Florida. It could bring more trouble like this massive pileup that shut down an interstate in Indiana, sending four to the hospital. Drivers are slipping off roads from Iowa to New Hampshire. State troopers there busy with at least 50 crashes. In Massachusetts, plows and shovels today helping dig out from around half a foot of heavy snow. Forecasters say this cold snap won't be as brutal as the last round, but still... The snow in my face is a little too much. Some in Chicago are ready for spring. It's been uh, something else this year. Out here, it's a much different story. 60 degrees here in Denver and parts of California are seeing record high temperatures. The west is warm and without any rain in sight, still very dry. David. Clayton Zendel, Clayton, thanks tonight. 60 degrees there in Denver. Must be nice. I want to bring in meteorologist Jeff Smith from WABC here in New York. And Jeff, you were saying that much of this country will struggle just to get out of the single digits this week. The polar vortex again. And unlike the last time, David, this one will really have some staying power. Check out the Arctic cold front blasting through the Midwest on Monday off the East Coast by Tuesday. All week, basically, from Tuesday right through Thursday and even into Friday, Minneapolis will have temperatures in the single numbers. Boston dips into the teens on Tuesday and Wednesday. And along the leading edge of that, we have some snowfall, a dusting over the Midwestern states, but it might ramp up to one to three inches near the Mason-Dixon line, Washington, D.C., and Baltimore included. And Jeff, I wanted to show everyone at home this image tonight from out west. They're dealing with a completely different problem, as Clayton pointed out. This man walking his dog this weekend in what was a lake that's north of Sacramento. Any relief in sight? The drought situation, David, getting more dire by the day. We're talking a big ridge of high pressure over the Intermountain West right now, supplying California with record warmth and really no rain in sight for at least the next 10 days. It may be early next month before we see a drop of rain in California. All right, Jeff Smith with us tonight.